Okay, let's talk about your reputation, and more importantly, how it's factored and how you can monitor it and make sure that it's in line and you actually have a positive reputation as a bulk mailer. So, first thing that the ISPs are looking at when determining your reputation is message volume. And not exactly how much you're sending, but how consistent are you with your volume? Are you sending spikes of, of tons of mail so are you hitting massive highs and then going for long periods of time with sending little to no mail? Really what, what ISPs want to see in, in a consistent and, and high quality reputation mailer is a nice even flow. Now you can, you can see some waves in there, but really they want to see that you're consistently and over a long period of time sending an average number of emails, right? You're sending an average number of emails to the same people uh, with and next, a solid delivery rate. So inbox and delivery rate. How much of the email that you're sending is actually getting through? How much of that email is getting through uh, filters? And what is your blacklist status? So looking at some benchmarking metrics, your message volume. Again, that doesn't matter. There's no benchmark on the number of emails that you should be sending. Um, what I would do is talk to your email service provider about the number of emails you're sending based on the number of dedicated IP addresses you have that are, that are originating that email, but we can talk about that a little bit more in your technical or infrastructure setup. But really, your message volume is more about consistency, making sure that you're sending uh, a consistent number of emails and that there aren't big gaps uh, or big inconsistencies in the number of emails you're sending as a mass mailer. Right? You want to see right as rain, steady as the mail, consistent. Um, message volume. Now your delivery rate, you really want to make sure that your delivery rate is in the, the 90s, ideally 90, 94 to 95% delivery rate. Right Now this is going to mean that if you're going to have 94 to 95% delivery rate, that you're only going to need to be talking to engage subscribers. So much about what we're talking about here in email deliverability has to do with the engagement level of your subscribers. And if you're emailing to a large number of unengaged subscribers or to people that have abandoned email addresses or switched email addresses, then while your delivery rates are high, your engagement rates are going to be low. But again, we'll talk about that in a few minutes. Now your blacklist status. This is very important. You need to be clear and clean of any blacklist for both your IP and your domain for the last six months, right? At least six weeks, ideally six months. Now, there are 12 major blacklist sites. Those are the ones I'm talking about. If you hit some of the smaller ones, don't worry, that happens. And assuming that you have your feedback loop set up, you'll know about it and you'll know to request to be removed or uh, delisted from that blacklist. So these are kind of the three things that, that gauge or determine your mailer reputation. So making sure that you're monitoring these things and you're conscious, conscientious of, of the email volume that you're sending. You're watching that delivery rate. You're monitoring delivery by, uh, by ISP, by IP, right? So how many, how many IP addresses do you have? When you send an email, um, what is IP1's delivery rate to Yahoo, to, uh, to AOL or Hotmail, to, uh, to Gmail? and going in and focusing and really working to make sure that you have the highest possible delivery rate. If you get a low delivery rate, knowing that it's happening and being able to dive in and figure out why, and I'll share some tools with you uh, in, in a video here in just a minute to figure out not only, uh, or to tell you how to track that and to figure out why it's happening. And then the blacklist, and, and really blacklist is a lot about, uh, about your list building. How are you, how are you doing list building? Uh, how are you doing indoctrination, and more importantly, um, re-engagement. Because if you're, if you're building lists appropriately, if you're indoctrinating people, and when people aren't engaging with your emails, if you're going through the proper re-engagement and finally stopping uh, talking to them, then you shouldn't have too many spam complaints and blacklist issues. So that's it on your mailer reputation. Let's dive into the next video to your sender infrastructure.